Hey Vapors, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe if you're interested in more vape videos. Turn on the bell notification symbol so you don't miss a single upload. You can check the description box below to find me outside of YouTube, elsewhere on the internet land like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I love Twitter to chat with you guys directly and I love Instagram to post vape giveaways because you can't do it here on YouTube so all my extra giveaway vape stuff goes on Instagram and I post on Instagram story like every day all day of my real like personal life so it's not really vape related that much on my story it's more of like me and my cat and my son <laughs> I do have a Patreon account where I do vape related monthly rewards. So if that's something that interests you, the links will be below. And I do have a second YouTube channel where I do non vape related stuff. So if you want to find out anything else that I do, you can check out that channel as well if you so choose. But let's get right into it. Today I have the bad hair day. Uh, <laughs> I have the SX Mini here for you guys. And, um, Power, it says it's powered by the Yeehee XS290. So I thought this was gonna be a mod. I guess I should have looked into it a little bit further. And then when I literally picked up the box and like looked at the back, because it has like the quick specs, I realized that it is another pod, which I'm okay with, but another pod, oh my gosh. So sorry, I thought I was bringing you a mod and I was gonna put like my own tank on top of it or something but it's a pod system. So it has the Mi Class device, a pod cartridge. Let's just get into it. The box does come like this, I guess. That's how I got it, but look at that. I love the design. It does come in a couple different colors. This is so little. And also the first pod device I've seen in a while with like an actual little screen. Oh my God, another yawn attack. Oh, I have an eight month old son, so I like sleep. What is it? Um, we have a charge port here at the bottom. At the top is where the pod goes. Looks like we have a fire button or like an on off button right here. And then the little screen. So it's super, it like looks like a battery size, you know? And it's the design on it here. I don't know, cause I have like black on black, but it does come in like gold and blue. So it does have other colors and I got this from directvapor.com. That's D-I-R-E-C-T-V-A-P-O-R.com. I love Direct Vapor for shopping. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, online vape shop. So I'll show you guys what else it comes with. We do have a box of goodies here, but under that box too, just to let you know, we have a warranty card. So in the box, we should have everything else we need to power this device. We have a braided, USB cable, so it's micro USB to USB, and it has like a little accessory that says SX Mini on it to keep your wires nice and organized. That's really nice. I think this is the nicest like charge cord I've ever seen. It's a little crumpled, but there is a quick guide here for the workings of the device. We have the actual SX Mini Mi Class user's guide. Probably comes in various languages. Oh yes, there are many. And in here we have the pod. On the back it does say SX Mini Mi Class Pod, one ohm. So let's open her up and see what's inside. Oh wow. So the pod is bigger than I thought, but like that's okay. Oh my God, what? why? Why am I living for everything but the mouthpiece? So it does say prime coil for three minutes before use. So we will do that. We will listen to the instructions. That way this device will work to the best of its ability, hopefully if I don't get it done because that's happened before. And oh my gosh, I don't want any piece of residue on here. Oh, that's it. So they're serious about that sticker though. So this is just a little dust cap for the, um, the mouthpiece, which brings me back to like 2013. So here is the pod itself and the connections for it and the connections you can't really see, but they're down in there. How do we fill it? We're gonna have to check out the quick start guide, but I bet you take the top off because there isn't really a fill port here in the bottom. But I just wanna put it in here real quick to show you guys the setup all completed. Oh, why do I love that? Oh. And with the dust cap, why do I love this? so much. 
I'm excited to see what the screen does. So this little dripper top unscrews and you fill at the top, fill on either side. And of course, it should come as no surprise to you guys unless you're brand new here. Today I'm filling it up with my flavor, Cloud Kiss. Yes, this is a strawberry cake batter flavor available in 100 ml bottles, 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol blends, available in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams nicotine. You can use my code TIA20 at bonsaivapor.com for 20% off of this flavor or 20% off of any of the other flavors. Bonsai Vapor makes, but I'm gonna fill it up and then we are going to let the e-liquid soak for three minutes, just like they told us to. Screw the cap back on and we will let it sit while I tell you about this device. It has an internal rechargeable 400 milliamp hour battery. I did already tell you about the SX290 chip. The output wattage range is seven to 13 watts. Fun fact, my birthday is 713. Maximum voltage output is four volts. So the intuitive organic LED screen right here does display a few things for you. So let me show you. When you just press the button, it does display a lock symbol to unlock it. One, two, three, and then the lock is open. And here at the front of the screen, it does display the battery state, the voltage, and the puff counter. Oh, it does say no atomizer because it thinks I'm trying to fire it. But you can see what it does show. Okay, hello, I know there's no atomizer. Are you gonna go back to the main screen, man? No, okay, guess that's that. So the single button operation is the firing mechanism. This uh, user's guide comes in nine languages. And on the bottom too, we do have an indicator light for the battery. It weighs 48 grams without the pod or e-liquid. It is 106.9 millimeters tall by 23.3 millimeters by 20. So it's not a perfect circle because we do have this flat edge right here. And the pod holds 1.5 mils of e-liquid, so it is TPD compliant. It does have a few protection features too, like short circuit, low battery, and low resistance, which is awesome because it's this tiny little device. And you can actually adjust the screen brightness by pressing five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you just single press to pick your brightness. That is awesome. And there is, there's five settings for brightness, so we'll do four. Also has overcharge protection. And a 10 second cutoff, which means you can't vape it for more than 10 seconds, or if the button's pressed by accident, it'll shut off. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that that has definitely been three minutes. So now that that is in there, you can see the battery life, the voltage output, and the puffs counter, which is zero because I haven't taken any puffs. So let's go ahead and take a puff. It counts one puff as long as you puff for two seconds, so that'll count up your puffs. And then the puff counter resets every time you charge it. The indicator light will turn red when you need to charge it. Okay, there we go. I was like, it's not working. Very tight pull. Probably best for mouth to lung. But I'm lung inhaling. I'm like directly to my lung. So I'll try some mouth, mouth to lung. My flavor is coming through lightly. Still delicious though. Clouds, bitch. Little mouth to lung clouds. I'm just chain vaping the heck out of this thing because it's not very good for direct to lung pulls, but I'll try some of those too, again. Yeah, it's just, I just don't feel like it's um, built for that, really. Let's see. Yep. Has hardly used any e-liquid, but I just wanted to show like chain vaping. Cause it does have, um, some relatively small juice flow holes in the coil and it does state that it's um 
one ohm on there so you can see that i like when coils state the resistance on there 18 puffs so far we'll puff it until my age what do you think that is don't answer that question this 100 percent performs best mouth to lung because I've just been trying both ways. I mean, it's not bad, but it's, it's just such a tight draw. I should have finished my sentence. It's not bad lung vaping, like lung inhaling. And there we have it, that many puffs. So it's very pretty, very pocketable, a very good mouth to lung device, I would say. And yeah, it's just, it's super cute, super little, you know? I mean, it's so hard to really like talk much about pods because they all are pretty simple and they all pretty much do the same thing. You can just really fine tune adjust to what you want. So like if you're a mouth to lung vapor, this would be the pod for you. And if you like the florally type design, I took one more puff because I will be 27 this year. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on this device. So that's it for the video. Go ahead and check this out at directvapor.com if you are so interested. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching. The littlest vape kiss ever because I use this.